Peter Stern, Chief Strategy Officer of Time Warner Cable, Time Warner Cable being the second largest cable provider in the US and the third largest in the world. Peter, welcome to TechCrunch TV. Thank you very much, Andrew. Great to have you on, Chief Strategy Officer. Busy guy, right? Well, this industry really sits at the intersection of the media industry, the telecom industry, uh, and as a consequence, it's really changing every day. So I do try to stay busy. There'll be a lot of people watching this who might think that cable doesn't have a future. Convince our audience that cable will still be around in 5 or 10 or 15 years. So the only reason I think you could believe that cable doesn't have a future is if you thought everything would go wireless. And we've got cable in our name. However, if you look at the trends, what's happening on the internet and what's happening in television consumption, people are demanding ever more content from the internet, and they're demanding higher and higher resolution TV, and they're not showing any, any uh, trend toward consuming less of it. You simply cannot distribute the amount of content that consumers want over wireless. You need a pipe into the home, and cable provides that. So there's really no risk that this business will go away. Are you saying then that the future is of wider and wider pipes, though, into the home? Absolutely. And that's where a lot of our investment is going as a company. Whether it's on the video side, making sure that we can deliver any content to our customers at any time, or whether it's on the internet side, delivering faster and faster services, making sure that we uh, continue to upgrade our network so that we can deliver uh, better customer experience as their demand for the internet grows exponentially. But there is an argument that networks like Netflix and Hulu are essentially making cable companies like yours redundant. Well, let's break that into two pieces. One, you cannot consume Netflix or Hulu without a high-speed data connection. And cable provides the fastest data connection that's available to consumers today. So it doesn't make us irrelevant. What it does is it potentially challenges our video business. I'd ask, though, that if you'll bear with me, let me just do a very quick walk through some economics. If you look at Netflix, this year they'll probably spend about a billion dollars on content. Call 25 million customers the average that they'll have across this year. Um, if we run that out, Netflix is spending about $3 or so per subscriber per month on content. The average cable company is spending about $30 per subscriber per month on content. We're spending 10 times what Netflix is spending. And the reason we're spending that is because we're delivering higher quality, fresher uh, content, and a lot more selection. The really high value linear content, sports content, uh, demands a premium. Netflix isn't paying that. Cable customers are. So for now, I would view Netflix more as a programming network as opposed to a complete uh, alternative to cable TV. And in fact, that's how most consumers are treating it. So you don't believe that the internet will ever become ubiquitous as an entertainment platform? Oh, no. No, I believe that uh, the internet will become ubiquitous in it as an entertainment platform. But the question is, will the internet actually substitute entirely for your cable TV service? And I think that in general, when we've introduced new mediums, whether it was the introduce introduction of the uh, VHS or the DVD player, uh, or the game console today, these things have largely been additive. And the internet will turn out to be additive as well. Now you might ask, how is it possible that we can add any more media consumption for the average consumer today, given that the average household is consuming about eight hours a day of television? And the reason that it's possible is because we're all doing more than one thing at a time. And as we do more than one thing at a time, our day expands from 24 hours to more than that. TV in particular is an ambient medium a lot of the viewership of TV takes place while we're doing something else. So I think you'll see these things complement each other, and ultimately, they'll even begin to merge. But the future, you believe, is as much wired as wireless. Wireless can never completely take absolutely. over. What, the wired network is absolutely critical for wireless to succeed. That's why I think you see cable companies really growing in what we call cellular backhaul, where we're actually providing the connections to the towers for more and more wireless uh, phone and data connections. The reason for that is that you need a very high capacity data connection in order to serve people's data needs for devices like the iPad. And cable has that network. So you really do see how the wire is absolutely critical even to make wireless work. 